still Jane really tells us that her 27 year old daughter Amanda Wills also known as Mandy a well-known hairdresser had returned from a trip to Suriname two months prior to her death at the time she was in high spirits and seemed to be in good health however this all changed one morning when Wills began acting strangely and lost consciousness she go go to work she go and go to work, she go other places and do her business and so. And when she go back home, soon she put her foot over to the bed, to, to the house. She go to put on some food and then after she feeling giddy, she step into the bedroom and she fell on her Lawrence Riley and Anthony Riley. That is the baby. Then Lawrence called me. I say, Mommy, come as emergency. Wills was taken to one local hospital where she spent about a month. Nonetheless, her health deteriorated. Wills was unable to walk, speak, and survived only on saline. According to Ridley, Wills' older sister, Yonet Grahams, had requested that Wills return to her home where she and her husband would care for her. After a few weeks in the care of her older sister, Wills was rushed again to the hospital where she later succumbed. Some people in the hospital asked me what I'm to her. I said, I really can't tell you, but they said she'll do some scan. And they started to pray for her, put the hand on her head, a nice girl, and praying for her. And I was crying, like, I can't take it anymore. So I is going to the hospital. The circumstances surrounding Will's death has caused a grievance between Ridley and her living daughter, Graham. She questioned her motives. As she claims that Graham had refused to allow her to take part in a funeral arrangement and has also refused her request to have an autopsy be conducted on Wills. I had an argument with her because the argument is to get more from her. Daughter. Yeah, Janet. Me and she had an argument. So I said, Janet, when is the burial? She said to me that I don't have to know the burial and she'll go down when she needs and she said not under her dead body. I would never be on that burial because she's not burying, she's born. This act has left the family to seek the intervention of the police. According to another sister of Wills, the woman who didn't want to reveal her name on camera said Graham also banned her from attending the funeral as she too is requesting an autopsy report. This is a reported that Graham was able to take the body of her deceased sister to an unknown funeral parlor, claiming that Graham is a sister's caregiver and her mother, Ridley, is allegedly deceased. I spoke with a police constable, a female. Her word was that any, car, any death that happened in the hospital, they have to get a police report. And uh, Alberton Police Station is deal with that. She asked me the child's name. I told her Amanda Beatrice Will. She boxed the book. She asked when the child passed away. I said Wednesday night. When I boxed the book, there were no such thing as a police report in the book. Since the child died. Nonetheless, Ridley is actively working to get an injunction against the funeral, which is scheduled for Tuesday, the 17th of September. Headline News will update this story once more details arrive. For Channel 2 Headline News, Esther Sobers.